everyone, it's Ghost here, and welcome back to another spooky episode of Minecraft Creative. And today, it is most definitely spooky. Now, if you're happening to see this and you forgot to last time when we did part one of this project, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the rest of this month's content and all the fun stuff we are going to be having going forward. Because now that I actually found a way of making editing my videos easier in my life, I'm able to do so. Don't forget to like the video as well, because uh, then YouTube knows it's a good video. Because I might think it's good, you might think it's good, but AI won't necessarily know that. Algorithms, they won't necessarily know that. But today we are building the Phantom's Lair part of my Phantom of the Opera Bird. And if you can't tell, um, technically the theatre that we built in the last episode is missing from this current part of the project. Because of the fact that, um, kind of needed to be able to see what I was doing and not have to put a ton of torches everywhere. So, without further ado, let's discuss the- First of all, if it wasn't obvious, we used stone and water in this build. Um, I don't like gravel that much, unless it's used as a floor, because it's really annoying to get it to go where you want it. Especially if you get to put blocks down, hence I don't use gravel that much other than for texture. Um, then there was dark oak because you've got to kind of make this look fairly dark and gloomy for the build. Uh, I believe that was black terracotta, plenty of candles, a lectern. Uh, then I was able to start getting rid of lanterns because those were only down where I needed to be able to see. Um, it did take me a while to figure out that there was a bit of a problem with um, water freezing over and apparently I just went still here. Ah, there we go. Why I did that is a very good question. We don't question most things that I do. Unfortunately, um, because this is a... It was 40 minutes-ish of footage. I only have to talk to you lot for five minutes today. Which is probably a good thing. I mean, good news is, it's half term now. Um, a bit of an update. There might be another Ghost Goes Places this year. I said there wasn't going to be another one in the last episode because it wasn't looking like there would be. But long and the short, there might be. It all depends on Tuesday. <laughs> Everything relies on that one day and timings. Because I had to figure out how to get to London, do a bunch of different bits in London and figure out the tube map which was really fun and hopefully that plan will work for Tuesday. Um, what else could I talk about? So obviously this is meant to be a cave and um, I kind of realised I didn't make it tunnel back far enough so you kind of don't get to see, you. well you could see it very obviously as to what it was so I kind of made a passageway and gradually worked on it. Should have got rid of the night vision sooner but I then made it so that you kind of had to go around a corner to go and see what was actually going on. Because coming up with creative ways to get around your own errors is everything about Minecraft. Now, I have started furnishing the houses from um, a video that I can't remember if it's out yet. If not, um, oh well, at some point I build a town. I have lost my post-it note that has a list of every single thing I do. But... I don't know where it is. So I cannot tell you what the next episode's gonna be. I think it might be the arcade. The maze house is last. Which means it must be the arcade. Huh. Okay, there we go. There's this th there's what we're doing. <laughs> so uh, since this is a short episode and it's kind of just a what's been going on, um I should probably add I use dripstone. A block that I haven't used much. And I want to use more. I want to make more like environmental based builds rather than houses and structures because it's getting mildly boring. I won't lie. I do too many structures at this point for builds. And then um, I discovered that it was nice and dark and my plan had worked and therefore the build was successful. <laughs> Obviously you need a boat. I have to make sure the boat can get through. You can't have a Phantom of the Opera build without a boat. Um... So that is about all for this video. Um, I know it's a bit of a ramble again, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all Wednesday. I will see you all again on Wednesday for what I believe will be the arcade build. Goodbye the internet. Have a nice day.